In this video, we'll look at some of the most common issues with recording audio and how to fix them. You may have tried to create an audio recording and listened back only to find that there's a noisy, nasty, distorted sound to your recording. This is usually a result of clipping. We'll look at why this happens and how to fix it. We'll also cover how to troubleshoot a quiet or completely silent recording. I'll cover these tips for all devices, so don't worry, I've got you covered. In most cases, the solution is not to somehow magically fix the recording after the fact, but just to re-record. So before we talk about how to avoid clipping, we should understand what it is. Clipping is distortion caused when the microphone signal is too loud. So a clipped signal sounds something like this. This audio is clipping. And non-clipping or good audio sounds like this. This audio is not. And we can approach this from a visual perspective. So an audio signal or a recording can only be so loud. And once it reaches a certain threshold or once it gets too loud, everything that's above that volume level gets cut off or clipped. And generally that's bad because it creates a bad sound. So how to prevent it? The first thing to do is to make sure that you always do the sound setup process in Soundtrap. Once you've done that, do a quick test recording and just verify that everything sounds okay. But if you still are having issues after your test recording, you might need to adjust your mic input level on the system level, which basically means your mic is already clipping before that signal gets to Soundtrap, so Soundtrap can't fix that, even if you do the sound setup. If you're using your built-in mic or a USB microphone, usually you'll adjust it on the system level. Or if your mic has a gain knob or you're using an interface, you'll have a physical knob for that and we'll look at that too. Again, once you do this, you should also do a test recording just to be sure that your recording now sounds good. It's no fun when you do your whole recording and then go back just to find that you still have an audio issue. So do a short test recording to verify that everything sounds good before you go and do your final recording. So the first thing is to do a volume check in Soundtrap. So once you add a voice track, you'll see something like this, and you can click on the icon that takes you to the volume check. You'll get something that looks like this. You can click Start Test. Soundtrap will walk you through the process where you record and Soundtrap automatically sets the level and then it'll tell you that you're good to go. Now is when you want to do a test recording. So you can just record your voice or your instrument for a few seconds in the same way that you're going to record in your final recording to double check that everything sounds okay. If your test recording sounds clean and clear, you're done. Go ahead and do your final recording. If not, if it sounds distorted or too quiet, you'll want to check your system audio settings at this point. So if you're on a Chromebook, you'll go to the bottom right, click your settings, and then click on the button to go to your audio settings that's above it. You'll get something like this, and you'll want to adjust your microphone input level using this slider. You might see something that looks like this, where you can see that the mic is muted. So if this is the case, you're probably not getting any signal. So you can unmute it, and then that should send audio properly to Soundtrap. If you're on a PC, it looks a little bit different. You'll go to your sound settings and then device properties for that microphone and make sure you choose the right input device or the right microphone. And then you can go to levels and adjust the microphone level manually from here. On a Mac, it looks something like this. You'll go to system preferences, go to sound, you'll go to input, make sure you select the right microphone and select the right device. And then you can manually adjust the input volume here. If you have a microphone with a gain knob, basically a volume knob, you can adjust that right there. Or if you're using an interface, usually each channel will have a separate gain knob and you can adjust that simply by turning it up and down. Also, many interfaces will have lights like this. So you can see on channel one here, it's green, which generally means that the signal is in the right range. Or if it's red, like on channel two, that's your interface telling you that the audio is clipping. The sound setup process on a mobile device is very similar. Inside the studio, you'll go to the top right, tap this button, then tap sound setup, then tap next. Generally, you'll use your built-in device, but if you have a different microphone, you can select it here, then select next. And now you sing, speak, or play your instrument at the same volume from the same distance as you will when you do your final recording so that Soundtrap can get an accurate volume level and then you're all set. Tap OK, and now you can go make your test recording and then your final recording. Keep in mind, there is no manual mic level adjustment in iOS, so once you've done the sound setup, you can move on. 
I hope this video was helpful and now you're able to create nice, clean, clear audio recordings. I'd encourage you to subscribe to our channel and join us in our Facebook group to connect with other members of the Soundtrap community to learn and support each other. Thank you.